हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन आई एम हेयर विथ यू एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर सेवन बर्ड्स एंड दियर नेस्ट ओके नाउ सी दिस चैप्टर सेवन बर्ड्स एंड दियर नेस्ट सो आई विल टीच टूडे आई विल डिस्कस about the birds and their nest okay now see this uh, see the, the see this the picture here you will see crow is there peacock is there sparrow is there and parrot is there okay so these are the diagram of different birds and see the shape of their body you can see the shape of their body so the question first is the boss what are the colors of the birds birds are having different colors okay red green black blue these are the colors of the bird and birds are chirpy and very colorful okay and they can fly in the air so you call birds as aerial animals now you will ask see this uh, you have to know this is the aerial a e r i a l aerial animals okay now the question is why are the birds are known as the aerial animals because they can fly in the air why because they can fly in the air okay so this is the answer of this question and you can underline here mm, see this this line they can fly in the air and that's why they are known as the aerial animals okay now see this do you know do you know some words do not fly see this this is do you know this is also very important so some birds do not fly as their bodies bird bodies are very heavy and uh, the example is the penguin you can see the penguin can't fly okay why due to the heavy body okay this you have to learn now see that birds can easily fly and float in air due to the special features now you will ask ma'am what are the special features the birds are having okay now see the special features are see in the this this is a point number 1 that hollow bones hollow bones which make their body light this is very special feature of the birds okay now the second feature is the wings wings are present in the birds you all have seen that and their wings are made up of light feathers okay which help which help them to fly now the third point is the see this third point this is a pointed sharp boat shaped body so you can see in the diagram this is a pointed see this pointed and sharp and boat shaped body this is also having boat shaped body okay this is also having boat shaped body that means birds are having pointed pointed sharp and boat shaped body okay and uh, 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 these are the three features a uh, birds a uh, bird is having and uh, not a bird all the birds are having and listen they are besides these features they are having beaks and claws and they use their beaks and claws to catch food and to build their nest okay what are the uses uses of the beaks and the claws uses of the beaks and claws are to catch food and to build their nest okay so these you have to 
learn now move to the next page that is page number 50 see this in the page number 50 do you know see this do you know this is very very important very very important see this see do you know this is very important in this first of all see there are about 10,000 kinds of the bird how many types 10,000 kinds of the birds and which bird is the smallest bird hummingbird hummingbird is the smallest bird and uh, what is the size it is only 5 cm in size very little ok and uh, the last is the ostrich is the largest bird which is the largest bird ostrich and uh, they may grow sorry uh, for the interruption so ostrich is the largest bird see this ostrich ostrich is the largest bird and it may grow up to 2.5 meters this is the height of the this will be this is the height of the uh, ostrich okay approx height now move to the next topic I think this is clear all the things are clear and about the birds features okay and now nest of the bird come to the point nest of birds okay as you know first of all you have to know about what is nest what is nest what is nest now I am going to answer this question what is nest so you can write this question what is nest and the answer is the nest is a bird's home what nest is a bird's home you can see I am going to underline this in your book see nest is a bird's bird's apostrophe s home nest is the nest is a bird's home this is the answer of the definition of the nest or what is nest okay now move to the next point that you can see the birds nest of the birds on the trees on the terrace of the building on electricity pole and many other places and they remain safe from the enemies and weather in their nest Okay, that means nest keep them safe, keep them safe from the enemy, enemies and weather. Okay, now you will ask ma'am, what are the things used for making the nest? Okay, this is a question. What are the things birds uh, uh, use uh, to make the nest? So, the things they use to make the nest, that is, see this, here you can see this. Twigs, straws, see this, twigs, straws, leaves, cotton and even their own feathers they are using to make their nest. Okay, and birds make their nest to lay eggs and to hatch them. Why do birds make their nest? To birds make their nest to lay eggs and to hatch them okay so this is the answer of the question why do birds make their nest now move to the next topic see this uh, see this uh, letter this is a letter written by Komal and she is in class 3 and wants to share her experience with her so everyone will read this letter of the page number 50 and will tell me what she wanted to say through this letter ok now move to the one more topic that birds make sound see this, this is also very important birds make sounds to communicate about danger food and to locate one another okay so now this is uh, all about the 
interesting thing about the bird now move to the different kinds of the uh, nest of the birds different types of the nest of the bird uh, see now now move to the page number 51 see the page number 51 this diagram in this diagram you will see the different types of nests nest are there see this this is one kind of this is the other this is another this is another and this is there and this is the nest of the sparrow this is the nest of the sparrow so these are the different types of the nest you are watching here okay now i am going to start to explain this first of all i will listen that uh, uh, birds start making their nest Usually in the month of April, okay, and this is the very busy time for them. And they different birds have different nesting habits, so their nests are of different types, and and they make uh, uh, their nest in special ways. Okay, now see this sparrow. You will see this sparrow, a sparrow, sun bird, and dove mostly work in the pairs. Pairs, any ek saath, okay, they work. in pair to make their nest okay and uh, you can see the nest of the sparrow between the branches of the tree you can see this is the branch of the tree so you can see the nest of a sparrow between the branches of a tree okay this is the nest of the sparrow okay now move to the next page you see this in this space this is the nest of the crow see this crow and its nest here see this this is the crow and this is the nest you will see that in page number 52 uh, the crow makes its nest and uh, where the place is on or near the topmost branches of the tree you see this this is the branch of the tree. so it is a topmost or near the branch of the tree and uh, and uh, the see you can see the diagram of the nest of the crow and the see this x are there okay now move to the next type of the bird that is the tailor bird okay what is that that is tailor bird see this this is the nest of the tailor bird dekho iske leaf se bana hua hai dekho kitne pyar se banaya leaf ko silai kar diya hai acche se and mai made a nest that means these tailor birds stitches the leaves with the help of its beak see with the help of its beak using a small twig as a thread to make its nest they use a small twig as a thread okay and leaves so this is the nest of the tailor bird now move to the next bird see this babet tuk 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 sound you listen you can listen sometimes you have uh, uh, you have heard the tuk 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 sound coming from the tree trunk and do you know it is a babet or a copper smith who makes its nest in the holes of the tree dekho see this this is the hole of the tree trunk okay this is the special type of the nest of the babit now move to the weaver bird see this weaver bird see this weaver bird see this how nice this nest is na so you will see the weaver birds uh in the weaver birds male weaves the nest okay male weaver bird weaves the nest and the male bird weaves the nest very beautifully in different shape and do you know the female bird chooses a nest where she feels most comfortable okay so this is the special thing about the we were bird okay now move to the next bird that is the sun bird 
see this sun word see this is the nest of the sun word mm -hmm. sorry 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 this is the nest of the sun bird you will see that sun bird is also very very beautiful very unique in its nest making skill and uh, see this it makes a nest that hangs from the branch of a small tree or a bush see this little little small babies of the sun bird are there now move to the penguin see this this is the diagram of the nest see this this penguin is there and this peng penguin is on her nest and that nest uh, this is uh, made up of what pebbles and stones because no grass twig or straws are there that's why they uses what pebbles and stones to make the nest okay now move to the one very important thing that coil this is very important that see this this do you know is very very important this is the coil see this this is the coil and coil sings sweetly but this bird does not make its own nest it lays its egg in the crow's nest and the crow hatches them along with its own eggs how clever the quail is na huh? so this is the character of the quail okay so you have to learn this important point so you have seen that uh, birds uh, make a nest to lay the eggs and uh, to raise and uh, uh, young ones grow grow grown up in that nest and then uh, what should you do you should not uh, disturb the uh, birds uh, nest nest or you should not break their nest but what should you do you should love them and take care of them okay so i will take care of the nest of the birds now i am moving to the next topic this is very very important and the topic is the migration in the bird migration in birds see this this topic migration the word migration means see this here uh, in the do you know it is given here migration you will learn from this migration that means moving from one place to another what is the meaning of migration meaning of migration means moving from moving from one place to another this is the word meaning of the word migration so so migration in the birds takes place why because uh, in the mm, some birds lives in very cold region okay some birds live in very cold region and uh, uh, it is difficult to find the food and to tolerate uh, the very low temperature so they fly to the warmer areas during the winters this is known as what migration okay what my gray t i o n migration okay so you will learn this and do you know examples are the siberian crane see you can see here in your book these are the examples of the migratory bird siberian crane painted stock flamingo rosy pelican these are the migratory birds okay and they fly back to their cooler homes when summer starts okay so i think you now you are able to write or learn uh, see uh, now you can answer the able to answer all the question answer of this chapter now one more thing uh, the important point see this uh, this is also very important see this the arctic term turn travels a distance of 176000 kilometers from its natural home in the arctic region to the end of the earth in antarctic and it does so twice a year okay and now see the keywords these are the keywords in the keywords uh, aerial beak chick claw cushion feather hatch 
migration trunk and twig they are the words in the in this uh, aerial uh, this is also very important and then uh, aerial that means living or growing in the air and uh, see this uh, uh, hatch hatch that means the growth of young one from an egg this is new word for you hatch h a t c h the growth of the young ones from an egg okay and uh, about the migration see this uh, here the migration word is there okay see this migration migration and then migration that means moving from one place to another and what is twig you can ask twig t w i g twig a small branch of a plant so uh, i have uh, completed uh, all the points of the birds and i hope now you can uh, able to write the question answer of this chapter and uh, do you know what uh, is the what is the homework for the day today you have to draw the different types of the nest and after that you will uh, draw shaivarian crane that means migratory bird and after that you will start to write the question answer okay and first of all you will start from the keywords so you will first of all you will write the keywords and when you will complete the keywords then you will start exercises a b c d e okay that's all for today thank you have a nice day